Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1402. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. In this video, we got to see a formula to put a check mark in a cell if the number is greater than 0. Now, here's what the end result should look like. And guess what? It's going to be kind of an indirect solution based on ASCII characters. Let's go over to the sheet 1402. Now, I'd actually like to build the whole list of ASCII characters, but we'll do that in a second and we'll search through and see which one is the check mark. But before we do that, you know, here's what I did I went to Insert and Symbol because I knew there was a check mark there somewhere, or I used the keyboard Alt I S. And I went straight to Wingdings and search through this list. And sure enough, down here, there is a check mark. There's actually a couple check marks. Now, if I insert this, clicking that and then clicking Insert, Close, I can see that is a check mark. But guess what? If I look up to the formula bar, that's the character that's sitting underneath. And if I go over to Home, oh, it's got a character. And then on top, it has Wingdings font. So now I want to figure out which one of the many ASCII characters this is. Now I'm going to use the character function, but I need the code. And I don't know what, what code number it is. No problem. I'm going to generate all 255 ASCII characters. And this is a cool trick, because ASCII characters sometimes can be the answer to a particular problem. Now I put the number 1, and I want to extend down to 255. So watch this trick. In the lower right-hand corner, that little box is called the fill handle. That's the selection cursor. When I move my cursor over top of the fill handle, I see the crosshair or angry rabbit. I'm going to right-click, drag down, and then drag back up and let go. And up pops a secret menu. Now I'm going to do that again. Right-click, drag down, drag up, let go, and there's the secret menu that gives us access to series. Now, there's actually a few other ways to get to series, but that's a cool, fast way. Now, I need to extend 1 to 55 down the column. Step value is please add 1 and stop at 255. So when I click OK, instantly I have the numbers 1 to 255. Control down arrow shows that, yes, it created the list down to 255. Control up arrow, now I can use the character function. C-H-A-R, it needs the number or the ASCII code. I'm going to click on the number 1. Now, character goes from the code and shows you the character. There's also a code function. So if I did code of that, which we'll do in a second, it'll show me the number, whichever number it is. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, I showed you this list because, again, this is a good skill to have because sometimes you need to figure out what the code or character is. Now, why are some of them blank? Well, this one happens to be character 10, which is a line feed. Or in Excel, it's Alt-Enter. It's a line break in a cell. Now, if you go over to the sheet 1402 answer, I have the full list here with what it actually is. Now let's try Control Home to jump to cell A1. Let's try this one, equals code. This is what I should have done in the first place. What's the code of that? Control Enter, it's 252. If I go down to the bottom, Control Down Arrow, sure enough, there's the actual underlying character. And if I click over here, I inserted it down here. There's the same character, 252, with wingdings. So there's our solution, Control Home. Now we can come over and build an if formula. Remember, we use the if function anytime we have one of two things we want in the cell. We either want to show nothing or character 252. Our logical test, that's some logical expression that comes out true or false. I'm going to say, hey, relative cell reference, are you greater than 0, comma, when that logical test comes out true? Then what do I need to put in the cell? Character 252, close parentheses. There's the value of true comma. If the logical test comes out 
false, what do I want? Well, I need to show nothing. So I use double quote, double quote to show nothing. Now, that's technically a zero length text string. But it is what we use in a formula to show nothing. Close parentheses, Control-Enter, double click and send it down. Just what we want. Now with the column selected, I go up and I select Wingdings font. And there are our check marks. When this minus 1 turns to a 95, instantly we see a check mark. Control-Z. All right, that's a little fun putting check marks. Whoa, look at that. That's our formula in Wingdings. Imagine if we had to type out our formula like that instead of like that up in the formula bar. All right, we saw the if. We saw how to use the character on the numbers 1 to 255 to show everything. We saw how to insert a symbol and then use code to figure out what the code is. All right, we'll see you next video.